How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to talk about pirate ship. Not the violent sea vessel, but the shipping service pirate ship. I got hit on Instagram today with a pirate ship ad and I was just reading through the comments and a lot of people said, you guys need an app. And this video is kind of exploring that idea slash a tutorial for those that might not already know what I'm about to show you. For them to develop an app, they would have to pay money to app developers. I don't know how much a fluid, beautiful app would cost, but it might not even be necessary for them. They built their entire service to be used inside of a web browser, so to be accessed through a computer. These are computers, so there's a little workaround that you can use that I would like to share that with you guys in order to access pirate ship from a mobile phone and treat it like an app. I don't think they will develop an app because they don't really need to. If you're on uh, Android or you're on iOS, I will do both. Uh, you can go to the index in the description and skip to iOS if you wanna start there or just watch if you want to do Android. But with that being said, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into pirate ship app hack on mobile devices. So here we are on the phone. I wanna show you real quick. I have this shortcut. I'm gonna show you how to create it and what it actually does. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna to touch it and it brings me to pirate ship. I have my username and password saved. I can log in and pretty much use pirate ship just as if it was an app. It's very mobile friendly. It's very intuitive. It really is as smooth as an app. If I go to reprint a label you can't print it within the browser. You do have to hit download and then it will bring you to this and then you do three dots at the top. You hit print and then whatever printer you're gonna be printing to, you would hit the drop down. I will put a link to some compatible printers with Android in the description. Some of my favorite laser jet, inkjet, and then thermal printers for Android mobile printing devices. If you don't have a printer that's mobile friendly, you're going to have to get one because then why would you be printing pirate ship labels off of your phone anyways? It wouldn't make any sense. So if you already have one, that's great. If you don't, how did I do that? Okay, we're gonna do it step by step. Download Google Chrome browser or open it if you already have it downloaded. And we're going to hit plus and we're gonna navigate to pirateship.com. And we don't want this page. We're gonna go three lines at the top right and we're gonna go to login. This is the page that we want to shortcut to. So now we're gonna go three dots at the top and we're gonna go to add to home screen and you can name it whatever you want. Login, pirate ship, pirate ship, whatever. And uh, there it is right here. So I have two of them right now. It's, that's pretty much it. It's very easy. I do have a video going over everything on pirate ship. I will put a link to that in the description. Make sure to check that out. And now we're gonna go to iOS devices. So what I'm gonna show you right here on an iPhone is how to create this icon right here which is a shortcut to pirate ship on mobile through a browser where you just log in and then it gives you the full functionality of pirate ship on a desktop but now you're just on mobile it's very intuitive very mobile friendly you can go to this you can go to import to import integrations you can go to the three bars over here for an extended menu with support settings, etc., etc. So the way that you create this shortcut right here, you're going to open up a Safari browser and navigate to pirateship.com. Then you don't want to save this page, but you go three lines, three bars over here at the top and you wanna to go to login. And then this page right here is what you wanna save. You go to the square with the arrow up and then you scroll down to add to home screen. You can name it whatever you want. It's called login pirate ship, or you can call it pirate ship, a boat emoji. You can name it whatever you want, get cute about it. And then that creates that bookmark and you can put it wherever you want on your phone. It essentially looks like an app icon. It's not an app, it's a bookmark to the browser, which is where, where pirate ship works it kind of doesn't really need an app because this works just like an app would same function so i'm going to log in and you're going to want to save your password to your keychain 
or to your iCloud or to your face ID or whatever so it logs you in faster next time and that's the whole point is to make this like easy and convenient and getting things done in a faster way being able to run your business off of mobile uh, once you get into where you can print which I'm gonna show you right here it does not support inline PDFs so I will have to download the shipping label in order to print I'm gonna show you that in a second you'd pick the drop down right there to whatever format depending on your printer if you have an inkjet or a laser jet or a thermal printer and whatever format that you're printing it in if you don't have a printer that is air print compatible I will put a link to some of my favorites in the description an inkjet a laser jet and a thermal if you don't have an air print compatible printer this whole tutorial would be bunk you wouldn't be able to do it anyways because you need a printer that you can hook up to your network and print from your iOS devices. I have a, a 4x6 printer, so I'm going to pick that. I'm going to hit download PDF, and then you can see the PDF pops up. I'm going to hit the square with the up arrow to get, to get more options, and then I'm going to hit print there. You can pick your printer. We have the Brother QL1110NWB, papers 4x6, and then you're just going to hit print. It should send the label to your printer, and everything should be ready to go. That is how you set up Pirate Ship App Hack on an iOS device. So that's the App Hack. Pretty easy to do. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions about the hack, let me know in the comments section. And if it was helpful to you, if you could, please give the video a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.